Hey guys, welcome to the interview question series and in this video we'll be talking about the hidden beams. Okay, so uh, suppose that you got a, a slab, right? So that is spanning over two directions, right? So these are your columns at the corners and uh, if we cut this section over here, you will see like these two columns and your slab over it and, and the column, right? Okay, so this is your section, suppose it's the AA section, right? And this is your slab. Uh, suppose that uh, from architectural point of view, you don't want to you don't want to show your beams. Like if you had a regular beam over here, you will see uh, something like this, right? So you will see the beam over here. Okay. So but suppose that you don't want this beam to be seen in this room. So what you do is that you just hide this beam inside of this slab. Suppose if the thickness of this slab is uh, let's take uh, 125 mm, okay, or 140 or 160 mm, then the thickness of this beam is also, or the depth of this beam is also uh, 125 mm. All right. So uh, this kind of beam that is hidden inside of the slab is called as the hidden beam, right? So the question comes: Why we need the hidden beams? So one one answer I have already given you is the aesthetic point of view, right? So you don't want your beams to be visible because the beams look really ugly. Yeah, on the on the slab, the beams look really ugly, right? And another another purpose is that to increase the to increase the height of the room height of the room. So what happens is that if you have got a regular uh, beam over here and if you get your false lean done in this position then uh, your height will be your floor height will be this right. So uh, if you have got a concealed beam that you don't have this beam over here and you got only the concealed beam then your floor height will be this. Yeah, or obviously, so this floor height is greater than this floor height, right? So it increases the height of the room, okay? Another purpose that we need a hidden beam is to increase the strength of the strength of slab. So sometimes uh, what happens is that due to the larger span of the slab, the thickness requirement of the slab is higher, right? So if you increase the thickness of the slab, then the cost of the construction will increase, right? So in order to limit the uh, thickness of the slab, what you do is that you just provide a beam over here and you reduce the load on the slab alone, right? So you disperse the load on the slab to the beam also, okay? By doing this, what do we do? We can take all the load on the slab without increasing the depth of the slab, right? Okay, so this is the definition of the hidden beam and these are the conditions when we require the hidden beams, all right? So hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and take care.